Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth from this continent a new nation conceived in liberty and dedicated to the propositions that all men are created equal. My name is Abraham Lincoln. I was born on February 12, 1809, to Nancy and Thomas Lincoln. I grew up in a one room cap log cabin in Harney County, Kentucky. My family was poor, so I received only one year of full education since I had to work to support my family. I'm, I taught myself to move to Illinois when I was 22. I became a lawyer and was elected into the Illinois legislature four times. In 1842, I married Mary Todd, who came from a family of slave owners. We had four children, all boys, named William, Tad, Robert, and Edward. On November 6, 1860, I became the 16th President of the United States. I defeated Democrat Stephen Douglas to become the United States' first Republican President. The stovepipe hat that I'm normally depicted wearing is used to carry my secret writings in. At the start of the Civil War, I did everything in my power to assure, ensure a Union victory over the Southern Confederates. Two years after the start of the Civil War, I signed the Emancipation Proclamation, which stated all persons held slaves within the rebellious states armed henceforth shall be free. This act of freed almost 3.5 million slaves from the South. To remember those who fought for America at the baddest Battle of the Gettysburg, I re signed the Emancipation. I gave the 260 word speech known as the Gettysburg Address. On April 15, 1865, during the play at Fort Theater, I was assassinated by a famous actor, John Wilkes Booth. That night, laying on my office on my desk, was the unsigned bill to establish Secret Service. I am buried at Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, Illinois. In 1909, the U.S. Mint honored my, I was honored when the U.S. Mint put my portrait on the penny. My face is also memorialized on Mount Rushmore as one of America's greatest men. In Washington, D.C., there's a 19-foot statue of myself. The Lincoln Memorial looks over the Washington Monument and reflects the truth. 